Okay, so this is another video in my Excel 102 series. So we're going to talk about how to make different graphs. So if you're trying to learn Excel, I recommend that you get the free Excel workbook at DividingConquerMath.com. Just go to the Excel for Statistics section. So in this series, I'm going through four different videos. And so we're talking about creating graphs in this one. The only graph I'm not going to make is the frequency and histogram situation because that really deserves its own video. But you can see all the topics that I've gone through. Let's get to it. So for this video, I'm in the graphs tab of my Excel workbook. So I've been going through each one of these tabs in each video. So for this one, we are going to just make different graphs with these two different sets of data. And they're two different sets because the type of data you have will really dictate what type of graph you want to make. So first I have favorite color and just number of people. So there's a couple different ways on how we might want to represent this data. One way might be with like a circle chart. So one thing that you can do, there's a, there's a couple ways that you can make graphs in Excel. So the first thing that you're always going to want to do is you want to just collect your data. So make sure you've selected all of it. And then if you come up here to the insert button, so if you're at home, here's insert, you're going to see these charts and Excel is somewhat intuitive with this. So you can really like play around with these and you, you won't like blow it up or anything. So feel free to kind of explore. Probably my favorite place to go for charts is to go here to where it says recommended charts because it will just show you all these different options that might work. Now, Excel doesn't know what type of data that you're dealing with, so it's just going to show you a whole bunch. And so then you have to decide what makes the most sense. So you can see here that one of the options is the pie chart and it has it all nicely colored and everything. And so we have the different color, the, the, the different colors here, and then you can see it all broken out and that's all well and good. And if I want to change the graph, so what I can do is I can right click on this and then I can go to change chart, chart type. So I was here, I right clicked, change chart type, and now it's just going to show me all these other options. Now, when you do that, you can also go back into recommended charts. So it says all charts versus recommended charts. And then again, you can play around with these. So maybe another good way to represent this would be like with a bar chart. And this is a, this is a pretty good graph. Now, Excel will not always nail this. And so it is possible that you are going to have to kind of play around with this to get what you want. So another way that we can do this is so I can select my data again, go to insert. And then I can see here all the different types of charts. So I could go here to like insert and then I can just see what kind of pops up. And sometimes it makes the right guess and sometimes it doesn't. So right, this chart doesn't make any sense. This chart does. So it just has different ways it can kind of compute the data. Um, also, when you go to change chart type, most of the time, if you come up here into all charts, it will show you just different ways that it can represent it. So maybe if we want different colors, we, we could do it like this. Um, so it'll show you different options and then you can also click through. So you can see here I am now at the pie chart. So now it's showing me a pie chart again. So kind of just going through like this all charts thing and then seeing what your options are. This is usually like one of the, the best ways to do this. Oh, we can do this nice sunburst. That looks so nice. <laughs> so, that for this data, you know, we probably want to see like how, you know, the number of people who like red compares to the number of people who like purple. So having a graph that has some way to display that is, is good, but we wouldn't use a circle chart for say like sales data. So again, there's like different ways on how we can represent this. So once again, I'm just going to select the data, go back to insert, and then I'll just start by clicking on recommended charts. And so I can see here, actually, this is showing a lot of really good ways to display this. So this is a line chart and it's showing the years. That's perfect. Um, here is a bar chart by years. Also really good. Um, this is a different, this is a scatter chart, um, but it's very similar to a line chart. This one shows stacked area chart. So you can see like all these different options in here. And then also, like I said, I can, I can go to this part here that says all charts and I can click through kind of all the different options and you can see like here. So in the line chart, it depends on how Excel looks at the data. So depending on how it looks at the data, it might give you this, which doesn't make any sense versus in this case, it wants to view one side as an access and the other side is not. So this is probably your easiest way to really play around and get most of your graphs. 
Now, in the event that you need to go through and modify something, so I will show you like how can you modify this if it's not working for you. So let's say I go through here and I get to my line chart and I'm gonna select the wrong line chart. Um, so let's do, let's do this one. <laughs> okay, so you can see you can see that Excel is doing something kind of goofy in this case because it's showing two lines. Obviously, this isn't what I want. So if you get some chart that looks super weird like this, just what things can you do to play around with it? Because one of the things I think is very important with Excel is for you to feel comfortable with just kind of like playing around with it and seeing what happens. Okay, so first of all, this blue line is referencing. So if I click on it, right, I can see that it's referencing the year. I don't want the year graphed, right? I really would want the year like displaying at the bottom axis here. So if there's a line that's showing up that's inappropriate, you can just go ahead and delete it. And so now we can see that the line that's left over is just this one. But this graph is still not quite appropriate, right? Because the axis down here does not make any sense. So if you have an axis that doesn't make sense, you can click on that axis and then go to select data and then you can kind of see what it's pulling back. So this is the horizontal axis and so I can see here that it's not pulling back any data. It just has these random numbers. So then you can edit what it's pulling back. So if I click on the edit button, it's asking me where should I have pulled the axis from and where I wanted it to pull the axis was here. This was the data that I wanted to go along the axis. So you can kind of play around with some of these fields and, and change them. And then you can see how it has labeled my axis and you see that it labeled year here, which is not appropriate. So I'm going to uncheck the year, see how year is showing up in this box. So I'm going to uncheck year here. And then in doing that, it should adjust. Yeah. So now it's adjusted down here. So sometimes Excel will do something goofy. And so, yeah, the, the best way to deal with that is to click on the part that's goofy and then go to select data and then you can kind of mess around with it from there. Most of the time in most of my classes, I have found that the recommended charts usually does pretty well. Um, oops, sorry, I shouldn't have clicked on that. But if it doesn't, then you should know how to play around with it to make it do what you want. So that's it for, for this video on creating graphs. Remember, I have this whole series here that I'm gonna go through. If you found that helpful, I would love it if you hit that like button or maybe subscribe to the channel. But otherwise, I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. I'll talk to you in another video. Peace.